Well, we are here with Alicia Sarkova. Svelka. No. Svelka. <laughs> we are here. You know, I had it before. Alicia Savoka. There you go. <laughs> hard, hard O there, too. Savoka. Yeah, Savoka. Um, and this is Pop Dust Presents West Coast Edition. We are in LA, Los Angeles. Yes, we are. And you are from San Diego. I'm from San Diego, California, rep. Um, <laughs> grew up in like North PB, La Jolla area. You just released a uh, masterpiece. Yes, I did. I New did. single. Yes. It is It is dope. I'm going to say it's thank, dope. Thank you. I kind of was listening to it for like on repeat. <laughs> hey, that's just it. That song was a fun song to make. I made it with Troy Samuela. And he's just like the best producer. Went from writing like half of a song, half finishing a song. And then I went from writing eight songs in one day with the dude. It was like amazing magical man he's nice. awesome so what was the what was like the the tweak or, or the trick to like turn all the the thoughts and all the um ideas into full songs i don't really know what it was but it's just like it was a weird switch in my brain like i i went from like barely writing the song and my management team like pushed me really hard you know like they were like getting me in sessions every day and like that was probably the best thing they've ever you know they, they just do so much for me in that sense like every day i was put in a session with other writers too so it was like really inspiring to see the other writers work and see how they worked on their songs and then i went home one day and like i actually wrote like a couple full songs and they weren't like great but you know yeah. like ever since a kid i've been in with like another writer or the producer would be like well what if we like what if we like do this and that you know but when it actually came to it like you know the writing like session stopped like with the other <laughs> writers in there then it came to me just being my, like by myself in san diego in my room and my mom was at home neither was my brother they were like out somewhere and i was just like you know, I'm gonna write an album. Like, I'm literally gonna write an album. And it was weird because the night before, like, um, my parents got divorced, like, all this stuff happened. And the night before I was in LA, and I remember talking to my manager, I was staying with my manager at the time, and I was like, I'm just like, like, I was just tired. I was like, sad, you know, I was feeling a lot of emotions because this was like a weird feeling uh, of my parents being separated. And, you know, like it 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 was amazing, though, because they're, they're just best friends now. And like it was the best for yeah. them, you know, and yeah. I always believe I think divorce that. Is great. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I'm a big fan of divorce. I think <laughs> marriage is not the way. But yeah, you know, people are old school sometimes and whatever you like, you like, you know, you roll with it. So I came home and before I left L.A., I told my manager and her best friend, Rob, I told them both. I was like, I am writing an album sit down and basically i i like told them i was like uh, my goal is to write an album in one day it, it was the weirdest thing i went home i wrote two songs and that was it and i didn't write an album but then came to it like the next time i had a session it was with troy mm -hmm. i went in the studio with him and we recorded an ep that was the first thing we did um, but my actual first session with Troy was with Ash Miner, who is this amazing kid. He was on the four, and um, the song might be released really soon. When might this this full uh, album I mean, be? I mean, we don't know. <laughs> we still need to tweak up a little, uh, a little Jordan's bit. Jordan's ready for some more songs. Oh, Jordan wow. wants more. I mean, <laughs> I got you. I'm kidding. No, but, um, I, I think I told you when I when I first met you today, I was booty dancing to. <laughs> Yes. You're like, how is that a thing? That's a, well, I mean, but all you get yeah, it's you, a vibe. that's what I want. It's like I want people to be able to like heal with my music and also like feel good about themselves. Like, literally, like one of the songs on my album is gonna be called like "Bad Bitch Motto." You can bleep that out if you want. <laughs> like, I love it. Yeah, um, but like, it's about being a bad bitch, and like, it's about having confidence in yourself, especially as a woman, because. Being in this industry, I've had to learn that like it's it's like 
you have to really, really set apart from the rest. And then you also have to have a lot of self-confidence in yourself. Because yeah. if you come into this game not loving yourself, you're going to be thrown around. Like, yeah. it's just horrible growing up in this whole industry. Like, you know, being 14. You started when you were 14. I started when I was, like, 14. And I remember, like, this producer, his name's Cameron. He was, he's like honestly like best man that ever lived. He taught me everything I know. He's great. He um, he took my me under his wing and basically like it, it just went from there. Like I was playing shows. Remember he would always tell me like, you need to have confidence in yourself. When you step on that stage, nothing matters. Just you feeling the music and vibing with the other people and having a good time. Like, that's what it's about, you know? A lot of people get into this game and they take it so seriously and that's just not the way music's supposed to be. Human connectivity. Yeah, it's about connecting to your your deeper self. Like, I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm really tapped in spiritually sometimes too. Like, I really, like, love all that stuff and I remember, like, finding myself through that. I remember people always telling me too, like, love yourself. I've been in so many relationships where I'd go through that and then it was also music and, like, you know, I had a lot of self-love issues personally because growing up in a place where everybody and every guy would want the girl with the long brown hair, very tall, you know, brown eyes, blue eyes, you know, like, I, I mean, I just wasn't that, you know, I have bleached yeah. hair, you know, my hair was colored, like, I was the short girl, you know, like, got the short hair, you know, one year I had this, like, weird bowl cut thing yeah. in high school <laughs> with, like, little highlights, and I remember walking into school, like, wow, I hate my life so much. <laughs> I had a lot of issues, like, even, like, with my friends and family, like, it was, like, a big change, people were like, whoa, you did that, and I was like, yeah, I did. And, you know, like, I, it's weird. Sometimes I'll even, like, walk into the salon and be like, I'm going to get my hair bleached today. Like, I don't really care, you know? Like, yeah. it's just really about me and my self-love. And it's about, also, it's about everybody else and their self-love. I remember, like, going through high school, I would care so much about what my friends were doing and, like, what they were doing with their lives and how they were doing. And, you know, sometimes you got to let them breathe and take care of your own self. I remember, like... I, I would like go and talk to my mom about it. She's like, you need to stop caring about other people so much. Yeah. And these people need to stop caring about you so much, you know? Yeah, and you need to yeah. take it in. Take, take it on it their in. own inner self. Yes, yes. And take on what you want to take on, you know? Like, I, I feel like I was always that one person that would be taking on everybody's problems and like everybody would come to me. Like, they would just be like, hey, um, so this is happening. And I'm like, ah. Uh really you know I'm like great you know like but that's why I do music is because it's a way I can care about people but through my own way you know yeah it's like a release yeah it's total release so tell us about the new song then so the new song is based off of my Love last stuff. relationship so my last relationship was like a whirlwind of emotions basically I just wrote the song like heavenly eyes are on the horizon like you know, like, I remember before I even, like, dated this dude, I was, like, searching for someone. And, you know, you're not supposed to search because that's when the not good relationship... Yeah, yeah, they always I say that. It's like, the good ones will, like, find you when you're not looking. <laughs> yes, whatever. yeah, exactly. It's a masterpiece. I'm a homie, too. Masterpiece is a masterpiece. Thank you. You're a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, a uh, masterpiece is also about um, self-love and dedication to yourself. It's also like masterpiece is about um, a painting of life and um, I love that. fortune and also love and passion. So if, but, you had a, if you had to sum up the message, I think the Alicia message, right? It would be self-love. Yeah. Right? Self-love. Self yes. Love. Yes, sir. And I'm um, still going through it, you know? Yes. Yeah. Well, but, yeah. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah. Thank you for having me here. And um, Pop Dust presents West Coast Pop Edition. Does. Yes. I have this competition I'm doing to open up for the Hollywood Bowl. Please vote for me. Yes, yes. And, <laughs> and I'll be, we will all be obnoxiously reminding yes. everyone to like vote, 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 vote. Vote for me. <laughs>